Frank. Thanks for coming by. No problem. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about the upcoming holiday dinner we have in December. Sure, what do you have in mind? You know, people may not fully appreciate everything we have going on at the BRBC. So I'm thinking a four minute video that could tell our 2019 story at the dinner. You know, we could talk about our great staff in a new direction, as well as the 140 plus events and activities we've conducted this year. And of course, there's the four pillars of the BRBC, not to mention the ways we support business. Why am I getting the feeling that there's more? Sure, we could talk about how important business is to our quality of life. The role the BRBC plays and making this area one of Connecticut's most vital and vibrant regions. How about a bird's eye view, maybe some drone footage and a complimenting voice narration? Greater Bridgeport sits on America's Gold Coast, and according to WalletHub, among all the states, Connecticut was number three in the lowest percentage of poverty, fifth in education, the ninth safest, and 18th in quality of life. And it's the businesses that contribute to a healthy workforce that can claim much of the credit in our region. Supporting those businesses is the Bridgeport Regional Business Council. By raising the visibility of those businesses, lowering barriers of entry for new businesses, helping to address the talent gap, and facilitating economic development. Wait, rather than a big voice, how about like in a presentation we use infographics to depict our four pillars, economic development, public policy, leadership, and our member and community engagement. And maybe I can get Ed to talk about Bedco. Yeah, so Ed, I, I know you're a modest guy and you don't like to talk on camera so much, but Dan asked a favor. He wants to know if you'd talk on camera about Bedco. He said what? He, he wants you to be interviewed for oh, Bedco. No, he knows better. Under, under the radar guy, I'm gonna stay under the radar. But better. But I'm it, gonna talk to him about it. But it's Dan. A recent emphasis of Bedco in the last 15 years has been uh, brownfield reclamation. Anyone familiar with the city of Bridgeport knows uh, Bridgeport has a great industrial history. With that is a legacy of contaminated property. It's been uh, part of the modern history that's cleaned up a lot of those properties. As for public policy this year, we had the governor in town. We brought in the legislators to share their concerns of our membership. We conducted a legislative wrap-up at the end of session. We also continue to support the proposal for a resort casino here in Bridgeport, and we are often at the Capitol representing our businesses. The leadership pillar is represented by what we do with Leadership Greater Bridgeport, Thrive, and the Women's Leadership Network, to just name a few. As for member and community engagement, we contribute with our participation in charitable activities such as the Pumpkin and Park City Runs. Then there's ribbon cuttings and other social events such as business after hours. There's more that we can fit in. How about we tell stories about businesses that are moving into the area? Maybe uh, business profiles. Like any small business looking to diversify and expand, we look to Bridgeport. We're new, we just turned one this summer. Uh, so we uh, service boats here, storage, uh, both on the retail and the commercial side of things. 50,000 square feet, climate controlled, uh, under roof here. Uh, we've got 15 acres of beautiful commercial waterfront. We've got a new 75 and 200 ton travel lift here uh, to haul and store boats. BRBC has been great. So we're really the new kid on the block here. And uh, every time I meet somebody new, whether it's at the, uh, at the business council or the chamber of commerce or uh, civic leaders or the political delegation, the BRBC has really made a lot of introductions to us and really kind of made us feel at home here in Bridgeport. I think the outlook for our business is much like the outlook of the city. Uh, I think it's bright. Uh, this harbor is wonderful. Uh, you can see what's happening over at Steel Point and now the Dockmasters buildings come out of the ground and the new Boca restaurant and the marina. We're just really excited about uh, moving forward with the city. I think that there is definitely a, an undercurrent of energy here in, in the city of Bridgeport and we're just happy to be a part of it. We're celebrating 100 years this year. We're a mechanical contractor. We do plumbing, HVAC. We have a service department. Uh, we do work for all the major GCs, hospitals, and uh, universities throughout the state. We're doing really good. The company's growing. We're always in the market for uh, more employees. And I think we pride ourselves on the service we give because the majority of the work we get is repeat business. Business is good. 
I'm Music Together of Trumbull, Monroe, and Newtown, and I'm just celebrating my um, 15 year anniversary. We teach early childhood music and movements. I've been with the BRBC for about a year and a half. This is rather new for me, so it's actually kind of exciting to find out how I can network with other businesses. And the BRBC has been really great in sort of taking my hand and saying, okay, this is what, you, I, this is what we need from you so that we can help you to um, network. I thought that, oh, okay, what's the BRBC going to do for me? And it's really about my engaging in the Chamber of Commerce and the BRBC so that I can uh, reach my goals. I couldn't help but over here, but how about we show everyone how busy we've been creating networking opportunities. We could put it to some fast-paced footage and some pictures with some cool music and graphics. Dan, these are all great ideas, but by December 12th? Yeah, you're right. Impossible. <laughs>